Valentine's Day is pretty much here. I decorated. Whether Valentine's Day is come and gone, or if you hate Valentine's Day or whatever, I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a reading situation on love, but not like your love life. I want to do something more about like, what do we need to know about love? Because it's a complicated um, emotion and feeling. Are emotions and feelings the same thing? We're going to ask our animal friends what we need to know about love because no one knows anything better than nature. And so that's who we're going to ask. Hi, I'm Kim, psychic tarot reader and animal mystic. I do psychic reading videos like this one. I also talk a lot about animal messengers and spirit guides and things like that. If that sounds interesting, mildly, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I feel like I look like a grumpy substitute teacher. See what I mean? I'm going to be using the Woodland Wardens deck by Jessica Rue. It will be linked in the description below. What do we need to know about love? Who wants to come out to play and speak to us about love? They're like, we're far too evolved for that emotion. <laughs> what is love? Ladybug happiness. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Okay. Here's this. Can you see that? Okay. Ladybug speaks to happiness and joy and luck. I feel like I want to say Ladybug speaks to luck that we, there's a lot of, you're lucky if a ladybug lands on you and that kind of thing. I feel like that is a cultural thing in some places. I could be misunderstanding that, but that is a word coming to me is luck, happiness, uh, joy, good fortune, that kind of thing. And like, what is love but happiness? And I think that that's something we kind of need to stop and think about sometimes in our relationships is that love is not meant to be dramatic. It is not meant to be difficult. It is not, love doesn't make us feel, isn't supposed to, I guess, make us feel bad about ourselves. Love is not supposed to make you feel less than. Love is supposed to lift you up. Love is supposed to add to your life, not take away. And that's kind of, of what I think Ladybug is here to say is it's like love is, is meant to be happy and good it is not meant to feel bad it is meant to feel good and who is you know you can't feel bad when you're hanging out with a ladybug because they're just so cool they're so cute and like nice and they don't hurt anybody they are good for your garden and they just add to your life they don't take away so love is happiness it's not unhappiness and so that's something to really think about about what love is and what you need to know about love is that love is good and love adds to your life and love makes you feel better love is not supposed to make you feel not good or worse or less than or unhappy think about that what else do we need to know about love that's the couple we've got two who came out who oh okay the bee and the sheep. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's start with the bee. We've got, of course, productivity, busyness, busy bee, you know, uh, kind of just building and work, 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 work and that kind of thing. And I think that that's kind of the message is that love may be happy, but it's not necessarily easy. It doesn't just because it's not coming easily to you, just because you're in a relationships that, 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 that aren't, you're in relationships that aren't easy that doesn't mean they're bad it's like kind of connecting back to the happiness situation is it's like just because it's hard work doesn't mean that's unhappy work doesn't mean that is leading to unhappiness but like relationships take attention and relationships take work and orchestration and communication and these are all of the things that like bees are known for you know they do their little dances in the sky to tell the bees where the flowers are and like I'll just spew that fact out whenever I can, honestly, because I just think it's really cool. <laughs> Fun facts. But I think that, that, that we need to remember that relationships, um, love doesn't have to be easy for it to be love. It can still be love and be difficult. Um, but just keep in mind that you don't want to be having that work lead to unhappiness. If it's work that's causing unhappiness and work that's causing you to not feel uplifted, if it's, if it's bringing you down, then, then that, then you need to work on something else or something that you need to like be examining that because yes, it takes work and yes, it is constant work. 
you like as soon as you solve one problem in a relationship there's a new one it's just it is what it is and like but like if you have love then it's worth working on and you're willing to work on it but keep in mind if you're working on it and it's not making you happy then then you've got an issue that you need to examine so relationships take work love takes work even non-romantic relationships parent-child relationships take work friendships take work work relationships take work keep that in mind they're not all easy peasy lemon squeezy they can be simple but that doesn't necessarily mean easy so do the work that's involved if you want to have a successful relationship and with any relationship so just love in general part of love is being willing to put in the work okay sheep here also um so this card says sheep stands for devotion which i can see how that uh can come to mind but like for me sheep is a lot more about following i'm getting following which is kind of the devotion angle here is that it's like sheep is devoted to the flock you know, like sheep is going to follow the flock and the flock is going to follow the shepherd and, and the sheep isn't, isn't in any kind of mood to rebel against the flock or separate from the flock or be independent from the flock. They're like, no, 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 this is my people. I want to be with my people. And so I think that, that this is kind of a message to follow your flock. Okay. It's a little bit of a find your tribe, find your people kind of message. And so this is, the sheep is saying, saying, find your people, find your flock and love them. Love just takes so many different forms. You know, there's romantic love and there's friendship love and there's all these different kinds of love, but all of it takes a certain amount of cooperation and work like with the bee, but also a following, a trusting in in your people and trust the flock. There's got to be a better way for you to tell me that little sheep, please. Can you give me some clarity on follow your flock, please? If you love them and if they make you happy and if they uh, help you feel safe and if you love them, then it's okay to follow them it's okay to stick with them it's okay to not be independent it's okay to to coexist in a flock with a family with your person with your friends it's okay to be a part of the group you don't have to to be a, a lone island you're gonna find more love and satisfaction and joy and happiness if you kind of be a part of the flock that you love. You don't need to, to be the black sheep, so to speak. Even though the black sheep is still a part of the flock though. The black sheep doesn't live alone. So being alone isn't strength necessarily. It takes strength to be alone, but it also takes strength to be a part of the group. And it's okay to have that strength. And that's where there's a lot of love. So that's something you need to know about love. We're gonna pull one more, because I don't wanna keep you here all day. What do we need to know about love? Who's got a message about love? Mm, Woohoo! The hawk. I've seen a lot of them lately. A lot of like validation. Hawk is super good at confirmation, so know that. Mmm, the hawk. The card says graceful persistence. Wow, my white balance is not into these cards. That's very funny. I'm getting the word yes very... It's not like yes, all caps, exclamation point. It's yes, period. So if you're thinking, is this love? Yes. Is this worth pursuing? Yes. Is this for me? Is love for me? Am I meant for love? Yes, yes, yes. You're asking the right questions. You're doing the right work. Yes. Sometimes love is about saying yes. That's kind of another like secondary message I'm getting. Say yes to love. Say yes to the partnership. You're, you know, if you're not sure you're right for a partnership, try saying yes. If, you know, it feels adventurous, if it feels, I think there's literally a hawk outside right now.
I can't make this stuff up, okay? Yes. Should I try? Should I be brave? Should I invest in love? Yes. Hesitations and, and the resistance that you are putting up, start saying yes to things because that's going to lead you to love. That's going to evolve your love. It's going to increase the love that's in your life. Especially if you're single and looking, this is, this is where it's like you need to start saying yes to new things and new experiences and new places and, and stuff and things like that because that's what's going to lead you to the person you need to be so that love can come into your life in the way that you want it and need it in your life. So start saying yes. Start being brave and start leaning into the confirmation you're getting from the universe that you are deserving of love and that you are worthy of love and that you are capable of love and that you will have it. And if you do have it and you're having some questions and some things, start saying yes to things and see where that takes you. See where that takes you because sometimes love is about taking a chance. Should you take the chance? Yes. Yes. I feel like Valentine's Day is a great time to celebrate all kinds of love, not just romantic love. So lean into love, say yes to it, work at your relationships, okay? Just follow your flock. I'm sheep. You deserve it all and we all deserve it all and like let's all just love love because we really need some extra right now. If you want to know more about if an animal is a sign, is that a hawk hawk or a sign hawk? I've got a video right here that can help you better understand that. Thank you so much for being here. I really love you. Please help the animals help you by taking care of their home. Bye.